Next on the programme, up to 4,000 trees are to be cut down at Arnisvale Cemetery in Bristol due to what's been described as a total infection of the fungal disease ash dieback. The cemetery is one of the city's most historic and best-known nature reserves, but work is now underway to fell almost half of all the trees there. Max Walsh reports. In this place of quiet reflection, there is now a rather loud distraction. Work is underway to cut down thousands of trees infected by ash dieback to help preserve the future of this historic site. On top of the canopy, progress is often slow. But Liam tells me cutting the trees down is the only way this woodland will recover. The fungal spores, they can get into the leaf in the summer and they'll travel down the stem um, and as they go, they, they start to constrict the, the vessels that transport the water and nutrients up into the tree. So effectively kills it from the leaves in. The cemetery was set up at Arnis Vale in 1837. The gardens thrived for decades, but in the 1980s, income dwindled and there were fewer staff to maintain the grounds. It's at this time when ash trees began seeding everywhere. Bristol City Council bought the cemetery in 2003 and work has gone on to restore it ever since. Arnis Vale is known for its sprawling woodlands and paths which go on for acres. But with the emergence of ash dieback, it means almost all the ash trees here will have to be felled. That's up to 4,000 trees. And by the time that's done in around five years time, this place could look very different. It's really sad, isn't it? I mean, I always think that trees are a little bit like um, old friends. If that's the way they're going to look after it by getting rid of them, then it's, it's got to be done. It is a shame, but say if it's got to be done, then it's got to be done. At this time of year, the signs for ash dieback are harder to spot. But the dead branches can pose a safety risk to those walking below. People have a very um, sort of emotional attachment to trees, which, you know, I speak to a lot of, of, of the public here and and, um, you know, take the time to explain to them what's happening and, and try and reassure them that, you know, it, it, the trees aren't going, you know, 60% of them are going. We're still going to have trees here. We'll still have some nice trees here. And we will encourage the woodland to regrow in a, in a, in a good, healthy way. Despite the scale of the felling, Liam insists it will eventually improve the variety of life in the woodland, protecting the landscape so everyone can enjoy it for decades to come. Max Walsh, ITV News.